Hey campers, welcome to Kitchen Fun. Boy, have we got a treat in store for you. Miss Cinda's gonna teach us how to make some Italian boats. Hey sailors, I heard we're going on a boat ride today. Huh? Buckle down, Tierra. We're going sailing. Wait, what? What? Oh, oh, hey, I don't think she actually meant to go get on a boat. Ships ahoy! Oh, I think I'm starting to get a bit seasick. You campers, make sure and watch closely to see how Miss Cinda keeps these boats afloat. We don't want any sunken sailors around here. Load the cannons! Cannons? Uh, hey, do you think we could maybe go back to the kitchen now? Oh. Looks like there's a storm a brewing. What? Wow! That was a lot of fun. You know, when that storm calms down, we should really go back out and. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa. Let's let Miss Cinda show us how to make these boats first before we decide to go back out again. Fair enough. Oh, hey, look. It looks like our campers are all ready to go. Let's call in our refs and begin cooking. You campers, make sure to wash up those hands of yours. You can also find this recipe on 3abnkids.tv. Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Have fun! Boys and girls, and welcome to our kids' camp, Kitchen Fun. Do you know why we're in the kitchen, boys and girls? Because we love cooking! That's right! And I hope you love cooking, because you know what? We are going to have so much fun today. And before we get started, I would like you to meet each of our cooking students here today. So I'm gonna ask them each to say their first name, and then I thought it'd be nice if we said where they're from, so that you could see that there are boys and girls from all over who are here to learn how to cook. My name is Christopher and I'm from Idaho. Welcome, Christopher. My name is Jackson and I'm from Tennessee. Welcome, Jackson. My name is Crystal and I'm from Idaho. Welcome, Crystal. I'm Mackenzie and I'm from Indiana. Welcome, Mackenzie. I'm Faith and I'm from Tennessee. Welcome, Faith. My name is Iana and I'm from Illinois. Welcome, Iana. My name is Amanda and I'm from Illinois. Welcome. My name is Elaine and I'm from Tennessee. Welcome, Elaine. My name is Maya and I'm from Michigan. Welcome, Maya. Okay, kids, who wants to start cooking? Me! Boys and girls, would you like to start cooking? Oh, but first, would you like to know what we're cooking? How about if we make sauerkraut, rutabaga, Brussels sprout soup? <laughs> no. <laughs> How about if we make little Italian boats? What do you think of that? They're floating in sauce. And they're floating in sauce, aren't they? Don't they kind of look like little boats? Well, they're yeah. sinking in the sauce. They're sinking in the sauce. What do you think? Should we learn how to make that? Yeah. Okay. What we're going to do is you each have given a blender. And you know what's really important, and boys and girls, I want you to always remember when you're in the kitchen, if you are working with any electrical appliance or knives or things that are sharp, make sure you always have an adult with you, okay? So we have an adult with each group of our children for safety because safety is always important, okay? So don't forget that, all right? So first, we are making our um, stuffed shells vegan. Does anyone know what vegan means? 
Okay, Amanda? Uh, it doesn't have any dairy? That's right. Vegan means, uh, um, Iana? A whole plant-based diet. Thank you. A whole plant-based diet and no dairy. So that means we are going to make our own homemade ricotta. So oh, take your blenders and we're going to take the lids off your blenders. Now we have taken blanched slivered almonds and we have soaked them in water, very, very hot water for over an hour, okay? And they're pre-measured, so go ahead and put all those into your blender. Just put them all in. And let me look at my recipe. Then you're gonna need your, now be really careful with the next ingredient because there's two bowls on your tray and one looks really white and kind of thicker. That is your coconut cream. And you're gonna wanna dump all of your coconut cream into your blender. Yep, dump it all in. And you know what, let me get you a spatula. If you, you can use your spatulas if you wanna, if you wanna scoop all of it all out. Christopher, you're doing excellent. Do you like to cook? Yes. You, you do? Very good. Awesome. Okay, you got that in there? Now you have a little bowl here and it's got some kind of yellow powdery flaky stuff right here. Yes, smell that. Does anyone know what that is? Can you guess? Smell it again. Let's see. Yes, can anybody, does anybody know what that is? Amanda, real loud. Yeast. What kind of? Uh, dry. Yes, she, no, she's right, but she didn't say the whole name. What? Yeast flake, nutritional yeast flakes. Doesn't that smell good? So put them all in. Good job. This will give it lots of yummy flavor. Now you're gonna have this yellowish liquid. Dump all of that. Anybody know what that is? That's apple cider vinegar. Put that in. And then we're gonna, um, let's, let's go ahead and put our salt in. You're gonna, um, Put, this is one teaspoon of salt, put that in. And then you're gonna need a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, put that in, see your garlic powder. Now I'm gonna have you work just a little bit because we need the juice of two lemons. So you've got your juicers and your squeezers and you each can do one, one half of a lemon but you'll need to put the juice of both lemons in and make sure you don't get seeds. Can you do it? Do you know how to do it? Let me show you how to do this one. Okay, kids, if you have one like this, you wanna push and twist. Push and twist, okay? Gotta get that elbow moving. There you go, get some muscle, Christopher. Oh, good job, push down hard. Look at all that juice. There you go, squeezed. We have all our lemon juice in. Whoa, that's awesome! How are we doing? Good job, Elaine and Maya. Good job, Amanda and Yana. Good job, Faith. Good job, Mackenzie. Did you get to squeeze one? You, you want to squeeze one? Sure, let's squeeze that. Put one hand, no, put one hand up here, one hand up here, and let's squeeze, okay? Squeeze hard, oh, we got big muscles. Here, up. yeah. Oh, look at the juice coming out, look it. We're getting some juice. Oh, there you go, look it. Yeah, and now you've got big, strong muscles. <laughs> you could probably squeeze just a touch more out of that. Oh, you got more on you and you're gonna smell like a lemon. But you know what? I love the smell of lemon. Okay, how are we doing over here? Okay, when you get this done, you pour your lemon juice into your blender without the seeds, Christopher. You, well, you're covering the seeds right there, so you don't. You can just tip, pour it. it it'll pour out. 
There you go. Good job. Okay, you have your lemon juice in? Okay, now we're gonna put the lids on. And, does everybody have their lids on? We gotta wait, we'll do it together. Does everybody have their lids on? Okay, are you ready? Yes. Children, start your engines. And you can turn the power up. Okay, turn them off. Turn them off. And then you'll need to stir. Boy, I'm having to talk loud over all these engines. So just kind of stir it a little bit and let's go. And then we're going to do it again. There you go. Okay. Now put your lid on. It's got to start out slower. Okay, and keep doing that. Keep stirring and starting until it gets all blended up. And assistance, you can help. Okay. Wait, wait, wait till we get the lid on, Christopher. You're gonna give me a ricotta bath. <laughs> okay. Okay. At this stage, this is ricotta. You could actually use this as a dip with crackers, boys and girls, or you can, um, you can refrigerate it if you're not ready to cook, but we're ready to cook. So we're gonna go ahead and add, let me get my other recipe. We're gonna add our block of water-packed tofu. So Christopher put our water-packed tofu. Everybody put the whole block of water-packed tofu in, and you can kind of smush it down a little bit. You're going to add your dried parsley. Here's dried parsley. Here's um, three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. Here's your onion powder and your garlic powder. Add all of that in, okay? And then we're going to mix that up. The spinach will be the last thing that we mix so it's not like totally green. Although I love green, it's one of my favorite colors, but I think we'll wait. And also, if like some blenders are more powerful than others, so if you see that their assistance, if you see their blender is not working, is not mixing it up good, I gave you some almond milk and you can add it a tablespoon at a time until it just blends a little bit. It's gonna look like a little chunky because it's ricotta and you and boys and girls you don't want it to be real smooth so if your blender's not as powerful as as um, what one some of these are then just add a little bit of um, almond milk to it but only a tablespoon at a time because you want it to be thick okay okay you ready kids yeah. make sure your lids on children start your engines turn her up Ours is starting. Okay, turn it down, turn it off, and let's poke it down. Poke it down. Good job, Christopher, you're awesome in the kitchen. Turn it, turn it slowly up, keep going. Okay, we're going to add a tablespoon of milk to ours. Which, a tablespoon. Kids, if you just have this kind of a spoon, this is a teaspoon, you can add three of these. 
Three teaspoons make a tablespoon. Okay? Okay, I'm gonna go like this and just move it down. There you go. Okay, go ahead. Turn her up. Turn her up. How are you guys doing over there? Oh, it's certain. It's certain. Here, let's give it some juice. <laughs> Almost. And boys and girls, this is what you're going to have to do at home because this is a little thick. Ours is almost done. So just be patient and you'll get it mixed up. We are, just a minute, don't turn it on yet. Yeah, give me a bath. <laughs> We're going to add our spinach. We're ready to add our spinach. Are you guys ready to add your spinach? Now remember, it's, it's not supposed to be smooth. This is supposed to be, let's get it all in. That's good nutrition right there, Christopher. It's not supposed to be smooth. And boys and girls, when you're making this at home, remember, it's not supposed to be smooth, okay? Okay, Christopher, put our lid on. Turn her up a little bit. There you go. Turn it up some more. Turn it up some more. Turn it up some more. Good job. Good job. Okay, you can turn it off. Let's check it. Let's push it down a little again. Good job. How are you guys doing over there? You doing it? And your spinach, you don't have to get it all, all uh, mixed up. Let's get the edge, Christopher. Oh, there you go. Okay. Go ahead. One more time, Christopher. Okay, that's enough. So see, boys and girls, I'm going to bring mine around. I'm going to bring our, ours around. Okay, okay. at this stage, Jackson, you don't need to blend anymore. Just stir up. See how I have half green? We don't, we don't want all the spinach to get chopped up. So boys and girls, you don't want all the spinach to get chopped up. See how we have half green and this part's white? At this point... Pour all of this into your orange bowl, okay? Is all of this green, like, is, yeah, it's, it's okay. supposed to be that be much? That's fine. Okay. Pour it all into your orange bowl now, and we're getting ready to, to um, uh, stuff our shells. So I'm going to pour it into here. See the consistency? It's, you don't want it real smooth. We're still going to have a pretty green color, aren't we, Christopher? Well, you can't put too much green in. That'll be yummy. It's going to taste good. Oh, I love avocado. Who loves avocado? Am I the only one that loves avocado? Oh, you do? Oh, Yana? Who does? You do, Jackson? Oh. So maybe next time we'll make this avocado ricotto. Oh, that kind of sounds fun, huh? Avocado ricotto. <laughs> okay, so good job. You're stirring it up for us. Okay, when you get it into your yellow, into your orange bowl, now I want you to get your 9 by 13 pan. We can move the blender's assistance. Here, let me unplug this. And we're just going to take this out of our way. How about that? Okay, and get your 9 by 13 pan. Okay, Christopher. Now, kids, I want you to take very, very carefully, 
take your pasta sauce and you want to put just about, uh, just to cover the bottom of the dish, just so your little boats will have something to swim in. Okay? Got it? Good job, that's perfect. That is perfect. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of your, your stuffed shells and you're gonna fill it full with your ricotta mixture and then set it into your, on top of your sauce. Just like this, I'll get you a spoon. Just like that, okay? There you go. There you go. How about if I move this out of here? And you should have enough to fill. And then you have two different kinds of vegan cheese. You have a Parmesan and a vegan mozzarella that you can put on top when you're all finished. How are you guys doing? Oh, that's awesome. Very good. You're welcome to. <laughs> You're welcome, Jackson. Are you having fun? <laughs> and you know what? I love how polite you always are, Jackson. Does your mommy always tell you to be polite? Yes. <laughs> well, I like you... my mom. She teach me his good rules. Oh, that's awesome. How are you doing? Very. Now, you guys, when you put them in, make sure you get nice, even rows. Put them in nice, even rows, OK? Good job, Crystal. How are you doing, Mackenzie? Have you, here's the spoon for you, sweetheart. Let's put, the, let's put this over here so that Mackenzie can reach it. There you go, you can, can you reach this, Faith? You know what, let's put this here, but let's give Mackenzie a few over here. There you go, Mackenzie, now can you reach that? You want me to help you? See, put it right, get a big old spoonful. I want more than that. Oh, I gotta have enough to taste. And Faith, you, do we have two spoons? You know what, Miss Anna, there's another spoon on my tray. Just um, get Faith mine. Good job. Now take this and put it in your sauce. Set it in your sauce. Good job. And you know what? You even put it in a great place on the bowl. There you go, Faith. That's awesome. Okay, grab another shell. Can you hold a shell with this hand and then fill it? Hold it like that and then fill it and then put it and keep it. This was perfect how you put that and put that right, the one right next to it. Make nice even rows. Good job, girls. How are we doing back here? Oh, I, I think I'm hungry. This looks good enough to eat. You guys are doing an awesome job. How are you doing, Maya and Elaine? Oh, and I like it. You're putting it in nice, even rows. That's awesome. Very good. Boys and girls, I hope you're learning how to do this. So, you know, don't, don't worry about not having the recipe. If you don't have the recipe, you can just go to 3abnkidscamp.tv and get the recipe, okay? And then you can print the recipe and you can make this at home. How are we doing over here, Christopher? Oh, Christopher, I'm so proud of you. Nice, even rows. Boys and girls, aren't they doing a good job? Who's gonna try and make this for their families at home? Oh, good, your families are in for a real treat, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, man, Jackson. They're gonna love this, aren't they? I think your little brother's gonna love this. Well, I'm making it for my brother and my mom and my dad. Oh, well, good job. And my big sister, she's right over there with mine. Oh. 
I just can't get this. How about, how about let's take one that's not broke, Jackson? Yeah. And how about if, if I hold let's, it for you? Where do I put this one? You know what? Broke. Well, I'll help you fill this one then. Higher. Because it's okay. If we put a filling in, it'll stay together. Here you go, Crystal. Can you put some right in there? I need one that's really open. You need one that's really yeah. open? Because I okay. can't get them in there like that. Now, do you see why I call them little Italian boats? <laughs> don't they look like a boat? They do, don't they? They look just like a little boat. Oh, that's okay, Jackson. My mommy. You know, there's no dairy in this, so you're welcome to just lick your fingers. You know that? How, here you go. There you go. Who, who needs a napkin? Well, keep going. I'll bring you some, but keep going because your fingers are just going to keep getting dirty. So, And you know what it means? When you get your hands dirty in the kitchen? Having fun. Exactly, Crystal. And who's having fun? Boys and girls, I know you're gonna have fun if you, any time you're in the kitchen because look how much fun we're having. And also, it's nutritious. You know what, that looks good enough to eat. I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> you're gonna wait I, and bake I'm, it? I'm saving it for my mom. Well, very good. And you know, we're gonna bake these and, and after we, you're going to sprinkle some cheese. When you get your whole dish full, then you can sprinkle your vegan cheese on it, boys and girls. And then Miss Cinda will put it in the oven for us, okay? But Miss Cinda has some already baked that you kids can try. What do you think of that? That looks good enough to eat, doesn't it? Christopher, you're doing an awesome job. Now you can sprinkle some cheese over yours if you'd like. And also you need to spoon some sauce. Take your spoon. Oh, you know what, Christopher, Miss Cinda forgot to tell you. Put some sauce over that first. Put some, put your, um, pour your extra sauce over the top of your shells. You can spoon or pour, whichever you want. Yes, nope, that sauce. Your, your red pasta sauce, if you have it all full. Boys and girls, remember, anytime you can be in the kitchen, it's fun. Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God.